heard that um, uh, after they showed the tests of Nicolas Cage in the costume, that somebody in one of the offices said, are we sure Christopher Reeve's never going to walk again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, oh, man. I would have loved to have seen those tests. And then, well, they're, around, they're online. Are they, are they online? Yeah. Yeah. Are they yeah, online? There's co- there's costume, yeah, there's costume tests online, yeah. I've um, seen pictures it, of him in the costume, but I haven't seen yeah. him acting. It's, they're not, they're sort of wrong-headed, but they're not, as awful as you would think, but they're, 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 they're completely for me, for Superman, they're completely wrong headed. And I also heard that they, there was a test floating around that Brendan Fraser did uh, hmm. around the time he did um, I think back in action. And that wow. uh, part of the deal was that if he came in for back in action, then he would be on the, the short list for Superman. Um, wow. Uh, and I thought at that point that would have been good. And somebody said that they saw a, a, a costume test for him. Once again, this is all just hearsay. And they said he looked exactly like the Fleischer Superman, which I was like, I'm there for that. Man. Um, we gotta, I mean, I got to hunt those down. I wish I, hopefully they've seen the light of day. It's the um, first we've heard of it. Yeah. I know at one point they had talked to Ray Liotta, I heard, and um, Eric McCormick. Hmm. Um, uh, and I'll probably think of some other names of people that have been talked to about it. I mean, you got you to gotta understand that there was a long, long period uh, where um, there, was, there were Superman movies just constantly in development. I mean, it's, I had a lunch one day and they told somebody on the lot with somebody on the lot and they told me that they were in for eight million dollars on scripts for Superman. Wow. Just scripts. So there have been a lot of people attached and unattached as time went on. Yeah, 200,000 of that went to Kevin Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I read that script. So, so when you were there, uh, WB had a Superman problem, right? Yeah, I remember they, yeah, they, they, would, yeah they, they had said, um, I mean, the, the person I had lunch with said, um, uh, I don't know why they just don't give it to you guys. And I'm like, yeah, why? Because mm. please, you know, we'd, we'd be happy. <laughs> to take a shot at a live action Superman. Do you think they still have that problem? Or, or yeah, I, I think it's, it's worse. We, well, we talked about it a little bit last week, someone, mm-hmm. you know, about the perception of Superman. And I think Gaiman had it right when he said Superman doesn't need to be relevant. He needs to be inspiring. I mean, Superman is trying to make him relevant is, is a foolish journey. Trying to make him somebody who's something special. That's the way to do that character. I think, I mean, he's, he's, um, I, I still see DC comics. I've read a, a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but I've read a couple of Superman comics recently. And like Wade seems to understand it, but I don't think anybody else does. It's, uh, you know, he's, he's middle American, traditional middle American values, equal rights for everybody, fair play, all that stuff stuck in a big city. And by the way, he can throw cars. <laughs> 